Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania 2. Simon's Quest. I've gotta say, this is the last episode. And we've got quite a march ahead of us. It's day five. We have to make it across the entire game world before time is up. Um, we're only level two. In a game that starts at level zero. We have only leveled up twice, but we are the third stage of Simon. I love this. I, I love nest things like this. For God's sakes, the... Okay, I'm trying to not be salty. But the slowdown is so egregious. Dude. The slowdown, man. Alright. Yes, we have to make it across the entire game world before time expires. And by time, I mean Simon. Simon's quest is um, doomed to be a short-lived one. If Simon does not complete the quest within seven days, he will die. Occupational hazard of being a vampire hunter, I suppose. But yeah, that's the nature of the curse. Um, I was actually looking at the plot beforehand. Um, apparently Simon had a vision of some lady Gosh. Had a vision of some lady who was like, Hey, Simon, do this. Go here. And it'll help. Uh, and that's why he's doing this whole thing. Alright, I just wanted to check. Okay. It's four in the afternoon. See, look at this. They made these mummy mins. And you never get a chance to fight them. You never see these mummies. And look, there's a there's a plant monster. And cool swooping owls. Look at those things. They look radical. They turn into weird owlmen. And Medusa heads. They only ever show up here. You'd think that they would populate all the other things with them. Mmm. Got me mid-jump, too. Alright. Right, it's night. Take two hits. Although I have gotten the flame whip, so... I don't think there's anything in this town we actually needed besides perhaps a rest at their church. Yeah, I kind of want to play Circle of the Moon after this because of... Um, the amazing flame weapon that game. Uh oh. So you may notice that I've got, um, this is the technical term, uh, buttloads of health. The game is running out of ways to hurt me because I've leveled up so much. And, by the way, I am nowhere near the max level. The max level is six. Which I think is technically seven, because as I mentioned, zero is a level. Which I guess means that, like, seven is like a big number for this game. Oh, God. Why are you guys like that, huh? Last Laurel. Oh god, let me check the guide. Okay, I just checked. And yes, I am heading the right way. Uh, this part of the game looks a little samey. Oh, it is the same place. They didn't tell me to go down, so I hope I don't have to. 
That's odd. Weren't there enemies there? There's no map, of course. One would think you could pause it to bring up the map. I would love it if the flame whip could always kill fishmen in one hit. It just makes sense that fire kills fish, you know? Like, I know water beats fire. But these guys aren't water. They're in a place naturally cold. You'd think that they would just get, you know, fish fried. <laughs> so funny. And handsome. And humble. Bro, you can't do... The rib, the rib, the rib. I'm a dummy. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Skelton. Yep. Falling in that will not kill you instantly, which is almost worse because it'll make you have to walk through it. But yeah, we don't have anything we need to buy. The last upgrade... Oh god. Am I in the right place? Have I gone the wrong way? Oh dear. What happens if this kills me? Oh, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night though. I get the sense I may have wanted to go down. Okay, where will this put me? Fuck. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hey. So, check this out. Yeah, I got stuck where I was. Couldn't figure out how to solve that little problem. So, I put in a code to get me back to here. The code loads you in at 11 days. The ending has been taken from me. However, there was also an ending just to see the good ending, which I earned, I did. So I don't really know where I'm going now. I don't feel like I have it. And like, God, it's not like I have multiple saves. It's even possible I could have um, solved my little problem earlier, but. on. And yeah, this has, um, this has items that I actually missed, but I won't use those. But that's what they look like. That's the sacred flame. It's what the actual holy water is in this game. We've got the cross, which is the key item that we actually need to go to the last thing, I think. So I'm just gonna keep going left until I find that thing again, and then I'm gonna double back. But yeah, let it be known. I don't have too much practice at this game, but I almost beat it and got the good ending. I didn't because I got myself stuck somewhere and couldn't get unstuck. Here's the other thing. It's possible that I might have gotten unstuck with not enough time to get the good ending. However, I think that this will actually qualify me for the middle ending. To get the good ending, you basically just have to go through all at once. This isn't the right place, is it? That said, it's pretty close to where I was. It even has more progress, technically speaking. I'm level two, which is where I was. I have the cross. Um, I've got the regular knife. I don't have the golden knife, I think. Yeah. Isn't there supposed to be something between these two? Dragon's eye. Damn it! All right. Let me try this. To... Get me here. It's E. 
X. K. M. I'm super upset that this is technically cheating. Though, this is the same thing I would have to do if I had, like, taken a break. S. U. W. Five. Three. Nope. Two. Uh, U. U. W. Entry completed. All right, how about this? That's not so bad. That's a little closer to where we were. Though I'm at level six now. Damn it. Also, I've just noticed that this guide refers to him as Dracula at one point. Like, spelled like regular Dracula, but there's a little A at the end of it. Or a little R at the end of it after the A. You know? Yeah, they're Fernal Burst of Castlevania, Dracula. I know that guy. He owes me money. Dracula. Oh, there we go. I want this. I want that. Alright, I think this is where I'm supposed to be going. But, like, this is just another thing where, like, the game doesn't really tell you. And, like, a lot of the townspeople that you could talk to are just really unhelpful. It makes you wonder about the development of the game. I'm really curious as to what exactly happened. I feel like, considering that this game was the was what was, like, you can see it at the left of the screen. This game was the cover of Nintendo Power Issue 2. Was this to get people to buy Nintendo Power? You know? Hey, what a horrible night to have a curse, by the way. But yeah, if I would have actually wanted to have, like, taken a break, I would have to do this as well. Um, if you don't have... This game doesn't have, like, a real save. The cartridge itself will save to an extent. There's no good way to do that. The cartridge itself will save, but if I would have wanted to reset the game, like if I had gotten a glitch, which I arguably have, um, I would have had to also put in a password. The thing is, is that it's included in the game, and I've unlocked several passwords, and I was at the end of the game. I think I just got stuck in that place. Okay, this is looking familiar. Where does this go? Alright. What? Oh, it spawns you in the air. That's what that was. That thing will spawn you in the air, and like... Okay, I think this is that one weird area that we were before. Gosh. It's, it is still a really good feeling to hit two enemies with one whip. One crack of it. This is demoralizing. Like, I'm usually not the kind of person who would quit an LP. There are some games where I just do not have the interest required to finish them to a uh, passable extent. Like um, Dragon's Dogma, I just don't really vibe with that game enough to want to play it anymore. Um, I might go back, same deal with Pokemon Uranium, but you know, they got issues those games. But man, like, this is different. 
those games I was like a dungeon in, you know? This is this is a stumble at the finish line for me. I I uh I kinda panicked to be frank when I saw the God damn it, guys. When I saw that I was stuck there and it was day six and I didn't have that much time. This is all looking familiar. This is all looking good. It's all good. I can I can salvage this. This isn't it, is it? This is the wrong place. Oh gosh. <sighs> One moment, everyone. All right, this is a different code. Let's see if this works. Entry completed. Looks remarkably the same. It's still nine hour damn it. Alright, how do I even get to that mansion? Oh, man. It's the real test of my resolve, huh? I've got the cross, so I should just be able to go, right? Those things are so weird and kind of cool. Oh, I'm only level three. Get me out of here, man. I'll take you to a good place. <laughs> I can't. I'm so salty that I stumbled at the finish line. That's upsetting. The. Oh man, I'm cool. I'm cool. Can't skip this dialogue, of course. Why would you want to? Oh my God. Go. Thank you, Simon. Hey, I got more time to play with a flame whip. Isn't that what we all wanted? I'm I'm starting I'm in a little tizzy here. It's rather upsetting how almost all of the things put you back at the middle of the game, at the very start. Okay. I'm cool, though. Calm. Yes, what a horrible night to have a curse. I know. I want to ask you this, game. I'm not the first person to ask this, of course. Is there a good night to have a curse? Is there a night where anyone is like, I would love to be cursed right now? Got like a million health, you can't hurt me. Gosh, every time, man. Can't get through these Castlevanias without cheating. I guess I beat Rogue Legacy, but that's a Sautenvania, that doesn't count. Egovania. Okay. I recognize these things. See, now it's really bad because I have to go back through it. And it's not like I saved with the, the like, emulator. Because that would be smart. I'm too... I'm too upset. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a salty little boy.
Alright. Deborah Cliff. Okay, I can still get here, that's good. I love this miscellaneous rock wall, by the way. I don't know where that is. Oh, man. Okay, this looks right. Vaguely bisexual mountains back there. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Hit left instead of down. Okay. This is, this is a bad state to be in while playing. Ironically, if I were to stop playing for the night, I think it might actually save my progress, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I'm cool. Wait, that's the Morningstar guy. So does that mean that I can just head east from here? These fucking skulls, man. Alright, one moment. Alright, I think I can actually head this way here. Theoretically, at least. See, this is almost a, a point of irony here. But I was more prepared to do the final run to the end when I was a lower level. With less items. Okay, that's not it. God, I feel so stupid. Just that's the that's another thing that's really bad about this game. I took a little wrong turn and almost definitely screwed myself out of the good ending. And so like you I just couldn't feel confident enough about trying to get said good ending. So here we are. Yes, the morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. The text crawl on that is glacial. Go away, skulls. Perhaps even die, monster. You don't belong in this world. You know die, monster is German for the monster. Okay. I have no idea if I'm doing the right thing. I don't think it's canon that Simon Belmont, like, got the good ending. I don't know what's canon. I would assume that Simon can have children in his current state, considering how busted he must be. Do I have a... I don't have an oak steak. But I do have money. Alright, I'm just gonna be this last thing again. Alright, so I beat this mansion again. And I possess Dracula's ring. Okay. Something I will say, uh, Mr. Jason Graves. Excellent, um... Excellent God in Castlevania 2, but... I don't know. Maybe this dumbassery could have been prevented if only I had known beforehand. In the video, he goes uh, pretty quickly through the crucial area, and I think I just must have missed the details. I hate these homing spiderwebs, dog. All right, now just gotta get out. Got lots of health. They have difficulty even hurting me. It's still very funny to me that the old woman selling an oak steak says 
invest in an oak steak? Like, you really want to see your profit margins improve in oak steak futures, you know? So in case it wasn't obvious by the fact that I have uh, not changed my shirt this whole time, I change my shirt regularly, just FYI. Um, although I have changed my ears out. Um, that was original, just like a regular flower crown, now it's my flower cat ears. I realized I barely wear these things, and I was like, well, it's partially because I don't go anywhere. But hey, the internet is a place to be, right? Alright. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wear these in videos now, because I'm cute. Alright. I'm gonna make an attempt again. This is the real attempt. For me to do this. But yes, for uh, reference, I stopped um, pretty quickly afterwards because I realized, oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to beat the game because I screwed around this town too much. That's also not counting the practice I had off screen. In total, I've been playing this game long enough probably to have beaten it twice. Um... Just go, man. Just go, Belmont. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see the, the fireball fall in the water like, whoop. Uh, sorry, I can't exist in here. Yeah, I don't understand what changes as to why you can do it after the mansion, but not before. Just... A little frustrating. It's alright. I'm cool. I'm cool. Bro. Oh, that's... Dude? That's so not cool. I was hitting down instead of walk, as you could see. Which, of course, does not actually help me walk. These skulls, dude. What is it about them that makes the frame rate just annihilate? Okay. So we go up. I hope that I was right in that I had to do that mansion. Otherwise, this was a huge waste of time. Okay. We were here. Mums. Dude, the frame- being able to see the mummy accelerate in the frame rate is kind of hilarious, though. See, so yeah, this is cool. Look, it becomes an owl man. These are amazing enemies, and I get that they only work outside, but all of the mansions have just had the same palette of enemies in there. There's only four or so enemies that show up inside mansions. There's also only two bosses in this game so far. One of them is the Weeping Mask, which is actually called Carmilla. I think. Um, and the other one is... Death. The cross in Laruba's mansion must be found. That's how the game lets you know that you need the cross from the mask, by the way. Oh, Lordy Lou, help me. Thank you for the health. Look at that purple sky out there. Hey, what a horrible night to have a curse, though. Great timing. I can't believe this happened. Just, I was, I was sure I was going to be like, yeah, I know that this game has flaws, but I'm going to stay positive about it the whole way through. Something that no one has ever done on the internet before. And then the game was just like, what if you didn't, though? become trapped by it, you know? And as I mentioned, I've been playing for long enough to have beaten this game in full probably twice now. Between practice, making sure the recording worked, that time that I started over. The rib, of course. Boink. I love very simple block mechanics. Like Link's shield. What is your deal, man? These werewolves. Oh! 
I don't know if I'll need those. As it happened, I think I did need my laurels the other time. Okay, I'm gonna go down this time because I think that's where I need to be. Okay. Turn right for Vrad Graveyard. <laughs> Vrad? <laughs> like Vrad the Impairer? Like, we've talked about how sometimes there's, you know, English in these games, but come on, guys. <laughs> that was the best the translation could do? Actually, to be fair, that's not as bad as possess, because process is not a real word. Okay, this is the right way. See, look, we're in the graveyard. This is, well, Vrad graveyard, but this is, you know, the graveyard before Dracula's castle. We finally made it. I used a password, but the password is given to the player intentionally. You're supposed to use them if you need to start over. If there was a power outage and I was playing on a real Nintendo, that's what I would have to do. Yeah, so the purple graveyard, the purple gravestones in the background aren't real gravestones, but these are. But you can just jump over them, but like. So, if you don't have the cross, you cannot destroy those, which makes it a egregious platform to get over because it's not very high. But Simon can only jump so far, so. And then it's kind of just a victory lap, which makes me very upset that I missed my chance to take it the first time around. But hey, you recognize this? It's Castlevania, good and proper. Castlevania, by the way, is just the name of Dracula's castle. A portmanteau of his hometown, Transylvania, and castle. Getting to be go time. Be these purpley blocks are meant to emulate and represent and look similar to the blocks of Castlevania 1. Though, for whatever reason, there are no enemies in this level. That's kind of why I refer to it as a victory lap. It's a concept in Souls games where the last level just kind of doesn't have very much in it because it's not meant to be hard. Or a similar thing where the final boss of a Souls game is very easy. Um, the final boss of Dark Souls 1 is easy if you know how to use the parry and decent, but not the hardest boss by any means if you don't. The final boss of Dark Souls 2 is really easy, especially if you go there and defeat Throne Watcher and Defender first. Um, so yeah, that's what I think this is intended to be, the victory lap. All right. All the little chunks of Drac. Wait, how many bags were there? Were there six bags? Oh, that fire, that, that's a good looking fire. But yeah, he's, he's back. And Drac. Oh God. Sorry, I didn't realize we were starting. And yeah, for whatever reason, this is the only uh, level, that's, a, that's kind of almost good that it happened though. This is the only level where this happens, where you get sent back to the start of it. You know, like you would in a real Castlevania, but this is the only time in this game where that happens, so... Yeah, it's meant to be like, hey, Dracula, you know, Castlevania guys. Just like you remember. But it's so weird, but this, this is, we're coming up on the close of this. Um, and I will say, if you don't wish to say to the ending, I understand. The speed at which the text scrolls is excruciating, to be perfectly frank. <laughs> um, I actually don't think I'm going to let the game give me the neutral ending. I earned... Like, you saw what we, what we did. You may have seen the divergence in the path. You may still remember it. Um... This, this is, you know, I definitely could have just done it if I knew where to go, but I have attention problems, and 
uh, the guy in the video sped through it really fast. It's really hard to read those things on like a regular. Oh wow, I can get him. This is a sacred flame. This is a weapon we didn't get. Oh boy. Time to enhance the aroma of my soup. Yeah. Right. And yeah, he's drawn blonde there, even though his hair has been black this whole time. Dracula. Although the... Confrontation... Between Simon... See, why does it scroll so slow? I don't understand. This isn't a problem on the... Although the confrontation between Simon and Dracula has concluded, comma, Simon couldn't survive his fatal wound. Yeah, the, the, the nature of the curse was that it reopened all the wounds from Castlevania 1. Transylvania's only hope is a young man who will triumph over evil and ri rid the world, rid the city. The city of Transylvania? We've been in so many villages, there's not a city. Anyway, rid the city of Transylvania of Dracula's deadly curse. God, you know, it's like the continent of... Or no, sorry, the country of Africa. The one country that is Africa. You know, the city of Transylvania. <laughs> My God. Okay. I earned the good ending. I'm going to say that I did. So I'm going to put in the code for good ending. Uh, off camera. All right, so as it happens... Even putting in a code will just start you in the village again. So this is... Whose is this? This is Edo Madden's video of it. Thank you, Edo Madden. Um... Yes, I'm watching this on YouTube because... Dude, putting in a password just does not give you the ending. It just puts you on track to get the good ending. Which is rather irritating. Uh, as it happens, the battle has, oh, hey, how about this? What if we just, the battle has consummated. What if we just crank the playback speed? Now peace and serenity have been restored to Castlevania and the people fee are free of Dracula's curse forever. And you, Simon Belmont, will always be remembered as a hero. Remembered for your bravery and courage. See, in this, Simon is not standing by the grave and it's in grayscale, which to me almost thinks makes me think that, like, is that not the good ending? Because you would think that the one where it's all colorful and stuff is the, is the good ending. We saw this one. And then this is the last one. The encounter with Dracula is terminated. <laughs> what is with the Englishman? Simon Belmont has put an end to the eternal darkness in Transylvania. Except for when it resurrects and Richter has to fight it. His blood and sweat have penetrated the earth and the will induce magic and happiness for those who walk on this land. And surprising no one, Dracula's hand bursts through. Oh my god. So yeah, that's Castlevania. Simon's Quest. Oh boy. Um, decent game. So many problems. Uh, lots and lots of problems, in fact. 
I I'm I dare say that this might have more problems than any game I've played on the channel so far. Um, it is good. But man, it just it just has some things in it that are kind of untenable. Um I'm very salty that my my first attempt probably wouldn't have finished because I just didn't I just spent too much time in one village. Pooh. Set those up there. Um I'm salty that my second attempt got me stuck somewhere where I couldn't get out of. And maybe I could have, but it would have taken up too much time because I was already really close to the wire. Uh, and my following attempts needed uh, the use of cheat codes. Granted, they are game-included cheat codes. It's not like I was using emulator cheats like with Castlevania 1. But um, oof. I'm exhausted. I've been playing this game for hours now. I recorded all of this in one sitting, and as I mentioned, I did a bunch of stuff off camera that eventually, that probably tripled the amount of time that I actually played this. So, with finality, I have been Alfred, this has been Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. I have finally beaten it. Maybe not in the way that I was hoping for, but unlike my playthrough of Castlevania 1, I have beaten it in a way that someone on the NES could have done, conceivably. Um, if you wish to play this game, I learned that there's actually a thing where you can just plug in what you want and it'll give you a randomly generate, or not randomly, it'll give you, it'll generate you a code. Just Google Castlevania Simon's Quest codes. And there's a plugin where you can basically tell the, tell the program what you want. And it'll generate a code, and then you just punch that into Castlevania 2. And the code will... And you can have as many hearts as you want, as many lives. Um, you can have the levels and items that you want. You can have anything that you... Uh, any of the key items. So if you want to start from a very specific place, you'll still start in the starting town, but... Um, well, I was going to say if I ever play this game again, but I hope I never play this game again. I... One thing that I like about doing LPs is this has set a crystallized, perfect vision of this game in my mind. This is what Castlevania 2 is for me now. Um, you know, and if I ever want to experience this game again, I can just watch this LP and be like, I'm really glad I didn't have to grind for like an hour and a half of, of real time. I'm glad that all of that was just cut out. Um, but yes... This has been Castlevania 2, for God's sakes. Uh, ordinarily, I would probably play Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse next, but I think the next one that came out... Let me check here. Uh, the next one that came out was actually Castlevania... Yes, Castlevania the Adventure. Um, which also got remade. Um, and this game is also included in the Anniversary Collection uh, on Steam. Um, but yeah, this is the Castlevania Adventure, or possibly Castlevania the Adventure. There's a couple of games where the box art makes it look a little weird. Um, but yeah, after that is Dracula's Curse. I'm not going to play Vampire Killer or Haunted Castle because they're weird remakes for arcade or whatever. But then after Dracula's Curse is another Game Boy game. And then Super Castlevania 4. And that's what I'm real, real happy for. I'm juiced to play Castlevania 4. And then there's the then there's another Castlevania remake. Then there's Rondo of Blood. And then Bloodlines. And then Symphony. Um. Wow, yeah. And then there's the ones on the N64. Another Game Boy one. And then all the Game Boy Advance ones. Ooh, and then the PS2 ones and the DS ones. Uh, <laughs> and then Castlevania is basically over. The only thing after that is the Lords of Shadow games. Um, I'm going to try to play them all, though. Maybe even the spinoffs like Kid Dracula and maybe Lords of Shadow as well. But um, wow. Wow. That was quite the path, but I've got quite the road ahead of me. Miles to go before I sleep, you know? 
But let it be known, this is now round two with Dracula, and I've beat him both times. Both times are cheating, but yeah. I've been Alfred. That's short for Elfriedrich. Um, or Elfredric, if you wish to spell it easier. It's spelled with a little A-E letter. Um, I've been meaning to get that tattooed so I can hold it up to show you how you're supposed to write it, but I'll see you guys later. I played other Castlevania games and other games like Castlevania. I played other RPGs, and um, please treat yourself to watching more videos or take a nap. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have dinner and go to bed. Um, so in that case, uh, good night, everyone. Thanks for coming by. See ya.